Hey, hey, hey. That is Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Hey, Vanessa, how's it going? Hey, I'm good. How are you doing today? Yes, day two across ponds (laughs) in every direction. Many directions. I love it. We had a great time last yesterday, right? Absolutely. And uh, similar to yesterday, right now, we're literally in Slack going, I don't want to interrupt this music. (laughs) This is very hard. (laughs) Can we just have this be a party? Which is my fantasy. We will have at some point an (laughs) in-person DJ Desired State uh, evening party. That's that's our plan, right? We we hope that it will happen soon and safely and uh, yeah, and outdoors. Yeah. Um, so yes, you are Vanessa Benqua. I am Tamo Nakahara. Thank you everybody for joining us for GitOps Days uh, Day 2 uh, of our two-day event. Uh, it was so exciting to see everybody joining us online. Um, and coming up next, uh, I know, uh, Vanessa, you are excited because uh, one of our speakers is Philip Lane, a Flux maintainer that you got to spend yep. time with at the Flux booth at KubeCon EU. Great. It was great having his knowledge. It's sometimes easier to hear from because obviously we work with Stefan. Stefan will be joining us next also. But um, it's great to hear from Stefan and see them interact together and give, just share their knowledge. I didn't know there was so much stuff you could learn about Flux and Flagger. Yes. (laughs) And uh, I think it just, it's, I don't want to say it's an uphill battle, but there's so much development going on. You know, it's just, um, and from contributors in the community, from the engineers who work on Flux and Flagger. So, um, in fact, you are wearing the Flex Your Flux uh, T-shirt am. because oh, yeah. we you kicked off this campaign because we said even people who have been using Flux and know so much about it, yeah, they um, there's a lot to to be reminded of and, and updated on. And so, um, you know, hopefully, give us feedback. We're just trying to make it as easy as possible for people to keep up. And in fact, Daniel Holbach, who is our uh, DJ Desired State every month, has a fantastic, fantastic newsletter um, on all these updates uh, of what's going on. So um, yes, if you have not joined the Flux mailing list, then you'll be alerted of the new blog posts that Daniel works very hard to put up. Um, And I've definitely gotten feedback from people about how helpful they are. Um, All right, so on that note, let me give a quick overview of this event. If this is the first time that you've ever come to a GitOps Days event, well, welcome, and we are so glad that you are here. Um, Make sure that you are in the Slack channel. It's been really great to see everybody asking questions there, um, as well as we um, do keep the YouTube comments um, open in case you know you're saying like hey i can't hear you um but uh please yeah send your questions to slack because um when the speakers come and go um you know they will still monitor like if they have to leave right after their talk they'll still come and answer your questions even days later so you will not be uh, your questions will not go in silence and we are really excited by all the discussion that we saw yesterday um, so Get Off Stays is a two-day event in which, um, you know, hopefully you've been able to see um, what is Get Ops. Um, if you register, you'll still be able to see yesterday's stream where lots of people define that and help give an intro for that. Um, and we've been uh, featuring so many users uh, of Get Ops, in this case, using the Flux project. Get Ops Days in the past, we've had mixed technologies for this event this time, there was so much Flux stuff that we are focused on Flux, but um, definitely we'll have a mixture in the future. Um, but for yesterday and today, we just had so many people from State Farm, Safaricom, OSO.sh, uh, Anova, Ring Central, uh, Zscaler, uh, Orange, uh, and, and many, many more. Um, you will um, be able to see them from yesterday. And then today, many of those people I just mentioned will be here to talk about their use cases, um, what's gotten them to GitOps, what's helping them, the business value, the technical value, and you can ask them all the questions that you want. So if you wanted to meet other Flux users uh, and to ask them questions, um, beginner to advanced, you know, everybody's on different parts of their journey and they'll be sharing um, their experiences. Um, yesterday, we also had a series of platform people who talked about how they use Flux to deliver GitOps to their customers. So Microsoft, Amazon, D2IQ, VMware, Red Hat. If you are already using, oh, and Weaveworks, of course, I have to mention, that's our company. Um, We have all these offerings. If you're like, oh yeah, I want GitOps, but um, you know, I don't know, uh, you know, how I want to get started. If you're already on Azure or if you're already on AWS, well, they're already providing those offerings to you. So check those out. 
And finally, we have so many great speakers today and yesterday talking about Flux working with different technologies like Terraform and HashiCorp Vault. And today you're hearing about Control Plane uh, and others. So there's many, many ways in which both the community and the maintainers have been dedicated to how Flux works with other technologies. So we have a jam-packed day today with that. Uh, so Vanessa, are you excited <laughs> from the I London am... side? Yes, it's like three o'clock in the afternoon here, but I am so pumped for day two. I don't want it to end. I wish it was a week, <laughs> but 